We are in Redding on the Sacramento River where large tree roots are being dropped in the river all to help fish. I am with Roger Cornwell. He is with River Garden Farms. You're part of the team that made this happen. Roger, explain what we are seeing. So today what we're seeing are large limestone boulders with walnut tree roots bolted to them and we're placing those strategically in the Sacramento River. So this is recreating the complexity to the river channel that has been lost uh, when the Sacramento River, when Shasta Dam went in, that, that took away some of the complexity from allowing flows from the mountains to come all the way through. So now what we have basically is a channelized desert. Our project recreates that habitat that's been lost. And the reason you need habitat in the Sacramento River is for juvenile salmon. They need a place to hide, right? Right, so correct. The, the baby salmon, they come out of the gravels and uh, they have no place to go, but they try to, to get away from predators. Anything they can find to get out of the velocity of the channel so they can grow larger and also to escape predators. Well, bridge piers don't have any escapement for them. So these, these rocks and root wads give them that complex structure that the, that the baby salmon can swim through and around and uh, get them out of the harm's way of the predators. How did you guys get involved in this project? So really for us, water's our lifeblood as a farmer. We at River Garden Farms, you know, we have a lot of riverside property and we feel very connected to the river. So we feel the Sac, anybody connected to the river is part of this larger Sac Valley group. And I trace this back to 2014 when we started really collaborating with the drought and really managing the water resource that we had going through some, some pretty tough times. River Garden Farms is not up in Redding. You guys are far away from this project. We're 200 river miles south of this project. We're in Knight's Landing, California. When will you guys be able to see if this project is actually uh, giving you what you want, so to speak? So I, I have a, I, my feeling is if we went out there today and looked at the structures we placed yesterday, we'll see fish. And uh, we're gonna monitor this twice a year for the next three years to get counts, fish counts of what's using them. And uh, we'll, we'll see.